Hi everyone, you reach Chronicles of the Grey here, Diva. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. For all of you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. And share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. I'm here with a quick update with the Monique D.L. Hughley whole entire situation. Well, after all of that back and forth, even though most of us feel that Monique's latest response hit below the bell actually it went gutter low 50 is standing by her side so 50 cent pretty much did a response on twitter because during one of her little videos with well, her live videos me the monique live videos with her and her husband sydney um aka daddy um she said pretty much she gave a shout out to 50 she said listen he has a pure heart um i love that brother and he is the reason why I'm doing this and I'm being put back on. So 50 Cent shot her out on Twitter. He showed her some love. He said, hey, listen, forget about it. And I'm paraphrasing, guys. He said, forget about the naysayers. Forget about the haters. Let's just concentrate on doing our work and letting the work speak for itself. And that's how we're going to show them what you're all about. Well, 50, you're a day late and a dollar short with your message. That's all we ever wanted from Monique. She had this unfortunate 13-year hiatus, okay? She wasn't happy about it. You helped bring things back together. You helped mend the bridge, you know, put some tape on it. And I'm saying tape and not even crazy glue or gorilla glue because it's kind of weak right now. And the reason why the bridge is weak is because of Monique herself, okay? So you put a little bit of tape on the bridge and she got a nice apology from Lee Daniels, right? And all we wanted Monique to do after that is work but she has proven that she's her own worst enemy and 50 i'm not mad at you stand by her keep her in your show because he is putting her on the second season of his popular show black mafia family i believe it's called now listen this is no shade it's only because I, I'm, I, I watch so many shows and it's but so much time in the day and i have other things to do in, with my life I never watched the show. I never seen it. And I think, I mean, is all of his stuff, does it still come on the Stars Channel? I don't even know what network his shows come on now. So my thing and my question to all of you good people, I understand that 50 is going to stand by her side. Maybe 50 connects with her energy and understands where she's coming from. But I really don't. But you already know that from my previous videos. I think that she have talent absolutely yes but there's a lot of non-working people that have tons of talent more talent than the working people but their attitude their mouth their persona their energy keeps them not working and i'm talking anywhere from a celebrity to a non-celebrity there are some very smart engineers out there there's some very smart nurses there's some very smart doctors but they can't work anywhere and with no one because of their attitude and i think that is what's going to eventually happen to monique no matter who and where she works so here's the thing guys you let me know what are your thoughts are you going to be watching Monique no matter what? Are you going to support her? Are we giving her another chance? Maybe, you know what? She she lost her way with this whole um, D.L. Hughley situation. And we're going to now, after this, see something different from her. I don't know. I'm not putting all of my money on it. But should we give her another chance? Does she deserve another chance? I think personally, and this has nothing to do with whether she was right or wrong about the situation that night, I think because of her last thing that she did, bringing his daughter into the whole situation, I think that she should apologize to D.L. Hughley and his daughter, and then we can move on from there. But listen, that's me. Don't go by me. Y'all talk to me. Let me know. Will you be watching this Black Mafia family Um season that monique is going to be on i don't know if her contract is just for a season or if it was longer or are you done with monique are we saying that's it that's a wrap let's let me know are we giving her yet again another chance 
Guys, chat with me in the comments. I told you this would be quick and I will chat back. Let me know your feelings on this. Let me know how you feel about 50 Cent supporting her no matter what. I think that what he should have wrote in that tweet is, listen, Monique, I do love you. I want to work with you. And um, maybe he should have, could have just kept it behind the scenes. But you know what? Here's the thing. Everybody nowadays, everything is put out in the, in the, in the public media. And we're all in a group text for so many situations. So since he put it out there on, on Twitter, he should have said this on Twitter. He should have said, Monique. I'm with you. I'm standing by your side and your husband, Sydney's side. But what I want you to do is stop airing out your grievances in the public. Then he could have said, let's just do our work, mind our business, and let your work speak for itself. And then when everybody sees how you are doing in this new show, um, well, my show, the second season of the Black Mafia Family then they're going to know that Monique is back. Then they're going to see who you really are. And then you're going to get more and more jobs uh, on, the, on everything, you know, on the basis of everything that you did on this show. And then you can start to demand all the money that you want and deserve as an actress, as a comedian, as a female, as a woman, as whatever. Anyway, guys, Thanks for listening. Chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. Don't forget to hit the like button and I'll see you on the next video.